Bears Niners. So Niners plus four, totals 43. A uh, couple notes here off the top. Niners 13 and 5 against the spread in the last 18 overall versus the Bears. Also, Bears 1 and 8 straight up in ATS in the last nine in San Fran. Niners really good at home the last month, month and a half or so. Mm-hmm. I saw this on Twitter uh, and I mentioned this on the podcast yesterday. Nick Mullins, 675 yards this season against the Seahawks. Most ever. Any quarterback has ever thrown against the Seahawks in a regular season. Bears playing good football, though. We know this. 7-1 and one straight up and against the spread in the last eight entering this one. But do you think they're going to put it on cruise control going into the playoffs? And do we bet the Niners here? Well, the Bears aren't done yet, technically. They, they, they still can move up. It takes, it's going to take some help. So I, I still think we'll see... The Browns or the Bears play for. I just uh, want to talk about the Browns. I just want all to, show. I do. They've just made so much money for <laughs> us lately. But uh, yeah, they, it, I still think the Bears come out ready to play. But the Niners have been the darling bet of the of the smart money lately, they, right. and, and we've seen a lot of fluctuation in their odds leading up to game time here. And we might see that again. Do you know who has led the NFL in passing yards over the last three games? Passing yards per game. Nick Mullins. Niners. You got it. Yeah, and. Kyle Shanahan, for whatever reason, I think there's some logic to it, but he has his teams playing their best in December. They're just three and thirteen under Shanahan from September to November, and seven and one in December. So That's crazy. They play their best football right now. Uh, I I gotta take the Niners here again, getting points at home. I just I just think uh, this game's gonna be a tough one. 